We are learning some new information about the man who caused all of this pain. Our JD Miles was the first to report the 33 year old Dallas man's identity. And late this afternoon, Texas DPS did confirm our reporting. I team reporter Brian New tonight spending some time uncovering more new details, Brian, about this shooter. You're at the hotel where he was staying at most recently, correct? Yes, Nicole, this is the hotel where last night police and FBI agents were serving a search warrant looking for clues. And while the motive remains unclear, we are learning tonight that the gunman may have had neo-Nazi beliefs. A video gone viral shows the gunman stepping out of a car in the parking lot of the mall and opening fire. The gunman's Dodge Charger seen in this video matches this one seen on Google Maps sitting outside his parents' home in Northeast Dallas. He always parked right there in, in front of the house like all, all the time. Neighbors told us they watched last night as FBI agents removed four boxes from the home where the gunman lived while Dallas police officers questioned his parents. Yeah, it, it kind of sends a little, you know, chill down your spine and makes you, you know, wonder like our neighbors were saying that, that we know our neighbors, but, you know, how much do we know about our neighbors? A second warrant search was conducted at this extended stay hotel in Dallas, where sources say the gunman had most recently been staying. It's unclear what investigators found here, but sources confirmed to CBS News clues were discovered at the scene. The gunman was armed with an assault style rifle and multiple rounds of ammunition. He was also wearing body armor and had a patch with the letters RWDS believed to stand for a right-wing neo-Nazi group. Investigators are currently searching for a social media footprint for clues to see whether he may have had any links to violent extremists. And we are also learning tonight that a law enforcement source has told CBS News that investigators are looking at a possible affiliation with the gunman and the cartel and Nicole, even possible prison gang members. A lot to still uncover about all of this. Brian, thank you so much for the update tonight.